Today we're going to demonstrate how to adjust the bypass valve on the 56A. If we turn on the faucet and then back it off and find ourselves cycling like this, we can adjust the bypass valve to stop this cycling. On the nose of the pump, there's a little grommet right here at the bottom that we can remove. And then we can use a two millimeter Allen key to adjust the bypass valve. Basically what we want to do here is open the bypass valve until the pump stops cycling. We open the bypass valve by turning the Allen screw counterclockwise. We open it to stop the cycling, but if we open it too much, then the pump won't shut off because the pump will never reach shutoff pressure. So we have to find a balance between getting the pump to properly shut off and then avoiding the cycling. With the pump cycling, I have inserted the Allen key into the Allen screw. So while the pump is cycling, I'm going to open the bypass valve by turning counterclockwise. I like to go like half a turn at a time. That's half. Right there. It's almost a full turn and now I've stopped the cycle. The first thing I want to do is turn the pump off and make sure it'll stop. If you close the faucet but the pump doesn't stop then we've opened the bypass too much. So here we have uh, no cycling at this very low flow. It's pretty good, pretty dialed in. That's perfect. Stop the pump. Start the pump. Stop the pump. As long as the pump stops easily, we're good. Check for cycling. Perfect. No cycling at any range of flow here. And no problem when you shut off the faucet, the pump stops. That's a perfect adjustment of the bypass valve. Here's the pump running with the faucet closed because the bypass valve is too far open. If I open the faucet, the pump runs faster, and I close the faucet completely, but the pump is still bypassing, so we'll adjust it to take care of that. So what we're doing now is closing the, the bypass valve. I, I did one turn, and we'll try on and off. Now it's good. I'm running a trickle to see it, that we're not cycling, but it still turns off. That's where you want to be. And when we're all done, we just put the rubber grommet back in place, and we're good to go.